Hi, my name is Tam Lee. I'm Mary Margaret Canali. I'm Colin Wyand. I'm Garrett House. And our project is going to be on the Baroque and Rococo style. The Baroque style of architecture began in Italy during the late 16th century. It quickly spread throughout Europe and South America due to colonization after the Pope and other rulers began construction. Baroque style can be described as grandeur, dramatic, and contrasting, with rich surface treatments and twisting elements all around. Baroque architects such as Gian Lorenzo Bernini, Carlo Maderno, and Francesco Borromini were masters of light. They captured elements of light and incorporated it into works to enhance the bold and intricate features and colors. Rococo style is similar to Baroque, emerging from Paris in the early 18th century as a continuation of the Baroque style. The main difference between the two is the Rococo style has light and playfulness with more feminine elements with the focus of asymmetry, serpent lines, and elaborate ornaments compared to the bold feature of Baroque. In the film Beauty and the Beast, the scenes focus on a Baroque architectural style of grandeur and emotional exuberance. Along the same theme of Baroque, the castle is filled with furniture covered in luxurious fabrics and bold colors. Most rooms have large dome-like ceilings that promote a tense boldness, usually associated with the 17th century Baroque style. The film uses Rococo architecture techniques as well in order to contrast the stark differences between the softness of Belle and the sensuous richness and vitality of the beast. The beast's bedroom is done in more of a Baroque style while Bed's, Belle's bedroom is more Rococo, lined with the golden ornaments and high domed ceilings meant to highlight her innocence and carefreeness. Adding to what she said, uh, in Belle's room, you're able to see the Rococo design in the abundant allotted asymmetry, the vibrant white pastel colors, and the sculpted moldings along the walls, which help accentuate her more optimistic and lively personality. In the west wing of the castle where the beast lives, there is more emphasis on the Italian Baroque style. The grand staircase, the paintings of angels and saints throughout the wing, and the large dome help illustrate just how high up and unreached heaven is for the beast to obtain. An interesting aspect of the Rococo and Broke style in Beating the Beast is the paintings used on the wall of the castle. There is a scene where the beast is calling Belle to dinner that includes a shot of the famous Baroque painting, Girl with a Pearl Earring by Johannes Vermeer. There are many other examples of undetailed Baroque and Rococo paintings from Goya, Vermeer, and Remembrant that are used in the backgrounds of the film. Um, there's a scene where Belle and the Beast are having dinner, and in the background, uh, there is an undetailed undet and flipped version of The Swing by Jean Fragonard in the background.